I've had a unique opportunity to um, work with a number of different oil and gas companies across the globe. Um, and we're witnessing unprecedented times right now because of the emergence of a lot of innovation and technology. A lot of companies today are uh, very passionate about embarking on their digital transformation journey. Uh, there's a tremendous opportunity within oil and gas to create massive value through digital disruption and innovation. And as I mentioned, many organizations today are realizing that they need to make, a, make some kind of traction, but just don't know how and where to begin. Uh, and I think, uh, you know, a lot of my experience uh, has been, has shown that uh, when working with a lot of these companies, something that's missing and a common theme is that a lot of companies are lacking a digital strategy that's well thought out, that's well integrated throughout the DNA of the organization that spans across uh, multiple lines of, of their value chain. Um, some of my advice in, in working with these companies as they rethink their strategy uh, is uh, you need to s step back and reimagine your business, uh, reinvent your business models, the way in which you interact with your suppliers, your partners, uh, your customers and so forth, uh, revisit your value chains, uh, create a new mindset so you imagine new opportunities. Uh, management uh, buy-in is absolutely key and critical uh, as part of this journey. Uh, there needs to be an organizational paradigm shift in terms of uh, increasing your, your risk appetite. Uh, you're going to have to come out of your, your comfort zone and until organizations are willing to take on new ventures, uh, embark on new risks, uh, they're not really going to be able to fully exploit the possibility. Many organizations that I work with have adopted uh, the mantra of be ready to fail and fail fast. Uh, many organizations are uh, embarking on establishing uh, organization, small organizations within their company uh, that looks at specifically uh, different types of digital venture opportunities and digital exploration where they can uh, go out to the market and uh, partner with different types of startups to bring in different technologies, test them out, do POCs see what works, see what doesn't work, and then kind of move on. So that's another approach a lot, a lot of organizations have done. Um, but what's really important, uh, and I think one of the most important things as part of that process is the whole drive for digital transformation should not, become, should not be coming from IT, but rather it should be driven by the business. And it has to have a very strong buy-in from the very top leader, uh, leadership of the organization. So it should come down from the, from the CEO, CIO, and the C-suite uh, executives within the organization. Uh, and, and by doing that, they take the ownership, the commitment is there, and then you get the, the rest of the buy-in. What I've seen a lot of times, organizations, they, they are very ambitious to start with the digital transformation journey, but halfway mid midstream into the process, they run out of gas. And a lot of times that happens because of the lack of that, that particular commitment. Um, the other thing that a lot of organizations need to do is revisit your external partnership. And that's the partnership that you have with your suppliers, with your customers. Um, and as part of that, also revisiting different in innovative ways where you can create a better experience for your customers. And uh, we've seen that time and time again. Uh, if you look back at many of the failed co companies uh, through time, uh, there are examples of, of Toys R Us and, and Blockbuster Video, and many of those companies kind of went out of business. And then you see on the flip side, you see companies such as Amazon, Uber, uh, and the likes, and what made them unique in, in, in being able to penetrate and create new markets is their ability to take risk, is their ability to innovate, is their business model and how they interacted uh, with customers and being able to create that huge value for their customers. And I think that's going to be the same scenario that needs to play out as, as we look at uh, creating innovation and digital transformation within the oil and gas industry as well. Um, so one of the key enablers uh, that we, we talked about at, at the first part of the, uh, the conference this morning was around digital transformation and having a very key data-driven strategy. And I think that's something that, that also is neglected oftentimes, having uh, a, a very solid data-driven strategy across all the different value chains. Uh, and that's going to require us to think differently. It's going to require us to change our paradigm shift. And uh, we have to break down our traditional data silos and transgress across all the different value chains, across all the entire business lines, and look at data holistically so that we can fully exploit the value of that data. 
And I think that's going to be very key, especially when we want to start embracing uh, edge analytics and we want to look at AI and machine learning and deep learning opportunities within the organization, unless and until we're able to bridge those, those silos and be able to exploit data across both information technology as well as operational technology, we're not going to be able to fully exploit the value that uh, digital transformation has, uh, has to bring. The other thing which is key is being able to take stock of your current capabilities that you have within the organization, take stock of what you can do, what you can't do, what are your limitations, uh, be willing to explore new opportunities and challenges within the organization and find out where that real value is. Uh, and then your strategy needs to really leverage uh, what your strengths are and ha be able to exploit those, those relationships that we talked about earlier with your customers and suppliers to bring them in to help create that value, help fill those gaps that you may identify. Uh, it's not possible these days for organizations to go into a digital transformation journey on their own. It has to be done with a very solid partnership uh, and that partnership has to include their entire ecosystem that they uh, uh, collaborate with. Um, then uh, of course we talked about looking holistically across your organization when developing overarching um, Digital transformation, <clears throat> digital transformation strategies, um, technology surveillance, working with uh, different consulting partners, uh, and obviously building uh, the skill sets within your organization. So taking in all these inputs uh, will help you to put together the right digital transformation strategy that's right for your organization and get you to the next step in order to keep you competitive within the industry.